Hi, my name is Robert Steltman. Today I'm going to show you some tools that will help you do your finished drafting from your surveys. We're going to start off with Steltman Tool Settings. We're going to pick Survey to Plan, and this dialog box shows how um, you set up your control or how your um, the things we require to do the final processing. So for the walls, you can offset them to the left or to the right uh, layers you're going to put it on, and we'll go from there. So you can create your line work either from the field book, from the uh, Civil 3D 2010 uh, surveying uh, complete uh, extensions that you've got, or you can use the create break lines from descriptors to create your um, line work. Once you've got your line work, you select house, and based on a plus or a minus, it will put an extension on each building, so you only have to take two shots instead of four shots. We can also do retaining walls. You just put in your offset and your height, and we can do the retaining walls. We'll select that, and it's offset to the right uh, by 5.2 feet. For the hedge, you tell it uh, you shoot the center of the hedge and tell it the width, and it will offset it uh, 5.2 feet, uh, 2.6 feet each side. For the anchors, you shoot the all the anchors attached to the pole, then the pole. Select anchors, and it'll rotate the anchors and then join them to the pole. Similarly, we have a routine that will do the drip lines. You select your, uh, take a shot on the uh, edge of your drip line and then shoot the trunk and it will place a block at the trunk and then scale it accordingly. So here's the edge of the trunk, or edge of the drip line, and here's where the trunk would be located. Now we're going to have it uh, rotate symbols to curb. So we've identified a number of codes that we want to have rotated. The layer that we want it to per make it perpendicular to, and you go rotate, and it's rotated these signs plus this catch basin. When we select culverts, what it will do is it will find the two that's in the uh, code, and it will put on uh, whatever you want, uh, the two plus whatever descriptor you want at the end of it. It also puts information onto this uh, P line, so should you at a later time wish to send the um, culvert information to your profile or to your cross sections, we have that ability. In hatch areas, based on the code you shoot, it will put in a specific hatch pattern. So this one we use the code 17, and that refers to it as a uh, inlaid brick uh, driveway. So you could have different uh, hatch patterns for each type of driveway. For parking stalls, for parking stalls, it will place uh, the number of parking stalls defined in this number 10, and there's eight stalls between here, and it will draw the line work in. For fence, again, you tell it what code you want to use, what um, block you want to put on based on the code, and it will put in a the block at whatever spacing you require. For tree lines, it will put on curly lines showing you where the tree line is.